Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at semiconductors that is NVIDIA, AMD, SMCI, ARM, Broadcom and Micron and I'll show you also QQQ and SPY. Uh, market seems to be doing fine uh, today. Uh, well, fine as in things are green back up but we'll take a look at is this tr strong strength enough already that is just fine QQQ I showed you on the chart but let's start off with NVIDIA, right? So we as we talked about so two levels have provided you 102 and i talked about if we stay above it can get above it 106 dollars is at least the first level we can test and we are doing just that you can see stay we got about 102 and uh, 54 cents and then precisely at our significant level 106 and 33 cents we are seeing price at least for now reject right so if I take it to the five minutes interval as well and just showing you five minutes here you can see the ceiling on the stock price is just rejecting precisely at our significant level and that's why level trading is so important. If you need access to my tools that marks these levels automatically links to my tools are in the description below. Now what from here though can Nvidia continue to go higher are we bullish well so okay Th there's a diff two things here overall struck well intraday as we expected upside we are getting that you can see pullbacks at 20 hours moving average got bought back up we stayed above the level like right hundred dollars uh, but pretty much this was the confirmation once we found first bounce at 20 we found second pullback bounce at 20 and once we got above 102 and 54 cents area 44 cents area this next level came into the picture so that was the plan now the next level it's again uh, we are in my uh, opinion we are still rebounding but this rebound if it can stay above 102 for one more day and even if it gets above 106 this has a more likelihood to continue to stay bullish structure overall as well intraday we are already trading bullish right now as long as now we stay above 102 and 51 cents on nvidia so yes and on the daily interval even though we are below 200 hours moving average that's fine but until then um it's all about if nvidia can hold these areas for a couple of days uh, we would eventually test 20 days moving average things are still under 20 days moving average but looking at the price action um it's all about if we can stay above 102 area now um, for a day or two more and even go higher things may start to look good again for Nvidia but trade it only as intraday rebound right now if any time we break below 102 and 54 cents this is for tomorrow at least then we are watching 97 again all right so those are the levels and about 106 I would say 111 is the next level that is on the intraday and that will coincide eventually with uh, 200 hours moving average eventually but that will be the next leg if we can continue to get above 106 and then you will have a stop loss on the other side of this level right so but anyways this is how i would trade it and um technically on intraday we are still having higher lows and higher highs so now it's all about can nvidia get to the next level that is getting above 106 right and then we'll see how much range it does until then Take it as a rebound only for a, a structure consolidation or bullish structure overall. I need to see a day more staying above 102. One, one candle would not do much. This is a second candle. I get it. But I want to see a pivot or a continuation just straight up to the upside. But that's why I'm saying just straight right now intraday. When structure is in one direction overall that is in the downtrend, these rebounds and through the after the extensions with this confirmation of the levels and the pivots as i'm talking about at the intraday level can be traded as intraday rebounds right and then we'll see if it rejects at one of these levels and we'll see some for a day rejection and then we'll be like okay things are looking bad if the levels breaks to the downs then it's to the downside amd so AMD, wow, so it's just doing flip-flop again with the market. So yesterday market was red, AMD was up, today market is green, AMD is down. But I still, again, I, I still expect AMD may consolidate here. 
but for that uh, definitely we want to see some more confirmation this one green that's why I said one green candle yesterday unfortunately today's red candle is not a good candle but it's still not that bad at least for right now so let's go to the hourly interval if AMD today can close above 133 and 74 cents area then I'll be a little bit uh, still bullish on AMD because of this inverted head and shoulder otherwise if AMD stays below uh, this 134 area and 132 to 134 if it stays below that and closes below that then I am I'd want to see the next day if we'll get bullish otherwise no well, what I'm trying to see out of AMD is after this strong green candle can AMD hold through this pullback consolidates form an inverted head and shoulder and then continue higher right that's what I'm trying to see here on AMD um, because that's a strong demand candle so we'll have to see and I do expect some rebound here um, again nothing is guaranteed because structure is still to the downtrend nothing is guaranteed how strong the rebound would be and that's why trading rebounds are always difficult and that's why position management is is very much needed um, but yeah so let's see if that happens if we get above this zone if it closes above this even even if tomorrow we can close above it that will be a good sign of a couple of days of rebounds but that is above 133 area, 134 area almost but to be precise my love my indicator has marked this level 133 and uh, 72 cents is the level all right that's amd smci so smci has its earnings today guys we'll see what happens after the earnings if smci continues to stay below 663 after earnings then there is still a problem in this thing i want to see how big of an up or down it will do and that will define the chart so right now i don't want to say anything on smci it's all about now earnings in the post market then i'll do another video later today arm so arm with the green candle seems like it's it's finding that what i wanted to see on amd as well arm is doing that actually it's staying above 200 days moving average after that green candle pullbacks on this are getting poured back up now this is a good sign that some upside is possible now as long as arm can stay away uh, sorry stay above 108 and 69 cents then i think it's likely that some rebound is possible the next leg is definitely out and above this blue box if we can do that this is important then only that strong confidence again will come to the upside if we can get above this blue box area that is 121 area finally that's when a full little bit of a rebound structure change would be and otherwise we'll have to if this has to become a full-on bottom then we have to see a pivot here or something as well but this is a good consolidation in the price structure that i'm seeing on arm today so let's see fingers crossed if uh, this really would change things for the better on arm okay so let's let's keep an eye on this one in that way um yeah so the level to watch are uh, definitely that trend line but yeah and 20 and 50 hours moving average is another near term that we can watch and then finally this is the last line of defense 108 and 8 and 60 cents area if we want to continue to the upside broadcom and so let's go to the daily interval first so broadcom had a bounce yesterday and today's intraday play was if we can stay above and get above the blue box so we got that and seems like broadcom is uh, holding that area and is trying to go up so intraday it's bullish as long as now it stays above 143 and 82 cents it's just an upside play um, so but take partial profits out manage positions accordingly below this blue box will be the problem but let's see now it's finally going for 200 hours moving average test or not so if we, if you see another rejection at 147 96 cents and then it breaks 143 and 87 cents then we have again a problem otherwise no this is still in an uptrend intraday at least right and then oh yes on the swing as well i do see some structure again trying to regain on the bullish side um yeah it has already taken out the pivot and the resistance 143 and 76 cents but that's the zone to watch right all right micron so micron is still not being revived this thing is still quite weak guys i'm not seeing a strength in this and at this point i would not want to trade this thing bullish even if any rebound comes at 101 and 95 cents area this that's just becomes a rejection area 
So yeah, I would stay away from Micron as a bull. Just would want to say that short play. That was the short place. The next leg was below 200 days moving average. I gave you all of these plays. So you're already in the money. I gave you all these long plays as well. You're already in the money there as well. And then oh, from here, we were in the downtrend making money. Guys, that's it for this video. Oh, yeah, I showed you SPY and... Well, let's take a look at real quick again SPY and QQQ. So if SPY today can close above 524 and 87 cents, that's a good sign uh, on SPY. But more on this I'll talk about later. It all comes down to how the market closes today on SPY. If it closes strong above 524, um, for the near term, seems like market has done its sell-off and we might see some days of rebound. QQQ, I would not say that is strong still i would want to see it above 448 and 59 cents but otherwise no this thing still has a potential of forming inverted head and shoulder and if qq will form this failover spy can only be protected by other mid cap stocks because spy is a combination of more than just the tech stocks right and as nasdaq qq is just more tech heavy right so that's that all right looks like nvidia is still now again testing that 106 again so it all comes down to that level now, guys. All right, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.